Hey, what's up everybody? David here and welcome back to part four of my complete 4K Blu-ray DVD collection. Um, I don't know when this series is going to stop because there's still a lot to look at, but thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Uh, and if you guys have been digging it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and that, that bell notification so that way you guys know whenever I upload another video. Um, we have, like I said, a lot to look at today, so let's go ahead and get started. And I just noticed my beard. My beard is insane. It has got to go. <laughs> <laughs> pretty soon anyway let's go ahead and get started uh all right first up is resident evil retribution again not the best film franchise but i've seen all the resident evil movies numerous times why am i punishing myself maybe i don't know <laughs> predator 3d really cool lenticular slip here love this movie so much it's a classic prometheus this is the Blu-ray 3D version as well. It has this really cool slip cover as well. I've seen Prometheus so many times, and I'll probably see it so many more. I love that movie so much. Shaun the Sheep, uh, or Sheep on the Loose. They sent it to me for review. I watched it. My uh, my my son kind of likes it. My daughter hates this kind of animation. It creeps her out. So we'll keep that on the side there. <laughs> Tremors Bloodlines. Uh complete disappointment i love tremors though poltergeist extended cut interesting the voices starring ryan reynolds really like this movie a lot donnie darko who doesn't love donnie dark i i know there, there actually is probably people that don't like donnie darko but this one's actually really good i, I like it it's still one of those uh movies you go back to and, and uh and kind of theorize about certain things Rio 2, The Assassin, this is a big one here, Female Prisoner Scorpion, this is a, the complete collection, this is a box set from Arrow Video, it does have four movies inside as well as a uh, collector's uh, booklet, really, really nice, love it, Three Brothers, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. This is the, the just the standard version, standard Blu-ray. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. This is the Walmart exclusive with uh, this slip cover here. I like this one. Django, prepare a coffin. Yes, it is. That that's where Django, uh, the Quentin Tarantino Django and Chain movie. Uh, came from from that character from that uh a spaghetti western uh films uh, back in the day detour all right dead or alive dead or alive you're coming with me silence this was a really good movie i really enjoyed this one a lot the best man's holiday <laughs> Gold. This was a really, really good movie. I enjoyed this one. All right. And, okay. I'm going to get, get going with these here. I've been wanting to talk about these. I was going to do a video just on, on, all on their own, just by itself. But let's just go ahead and just include it here. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is season one. Love Buffy the Vampire Slayer so much. Uh, this is season two. Now, the one thing that I don't like about these is just, it does come with, like, the those little... Mini, uh, mini cases, like those slim cases. Not a fan of those, but I love the series so much. And I've gotten one, so I was like, I might as well just complete the set. Um, and get all, get them all the same. Season 3 here. Season 4. One of my favorite, one of my favorite episodes is in this season with, uh, The Gentleman. Phenomenal. Love it. Season 5. Right here. Um, I believe it's this season or maybe, maybe it's the next season, uh, that has, um, my favorite episode of all time. It's a musical episode, uh, called Once More With Feeling. I will watch that episode, like, endlessly. Uh, love it so much. This is season five, like I said. Season six. And season seven, the final season for Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I love Buffy so much. I, I'm... I, I'm an unapologetic fan. Um, I will uh, shout it from the mountaintops. I don't care who thinks what. 
uh, about me for liking Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That it's just it's the perfect blend of um, horror, sci-fi, uh, comedy, all kinds of uh, all kinds of genres just thrown into one drama. You know, and it's just I think that show is what made Supernatural. It paved the way for shows like Supernatural, definitely, because uh, Supernatural does have that same uh, it does have that same element in it. Um, where it's a blend of everything all into one show. I love it so much, and I will watch it forever and ever and ever. And it, it, it was created by Joss Whedon. Joss Whedon, you know, the, the director of, of Avengers and all that stuff. So it, it's perfect. Uh, I remember seeing Avengers for the first time, and you could almost... If you're a fan of Buffy, you spotted all the, the Buffy type of elements in the Avengers. It was, it was really cool. It was I was geeking out, like, immensely. Uh, during the Avengers, um, Angel season one. This is the spinoff of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Angel season two. Angel season three. Angel season four. And Angel season five, the final season. Um, now, not a lot of people uh, liked Angel. I liked Angel just because, again, I'm a fan of of the franchise as a whole. Um, it was a lot darker, a lot more, a little bit more serious. It did kind of get a little lighthearted towards the end, but it was different than Buffy. But I enjoyed the hell out of it as well. Um, I really wish that they would have uh, ended it in a better way. Um, and they had been talking about it, you know, doing a movie for both, for Buffy and Angel, for a very long time. Uh, I think uh, Angel would have probably uh, benefited most from a, a final movie. So. Anyway, love those those franchises. Love those series. Uh, Punching Henry. And if you guys watch Buffy, or have watched Buffy or, or Angel, uh, let me know in the comments. Family Guy, Volume 11. Adventure Time, The Suitor. Adventure Time, love it. It's, it's, it's just one of those, those shows that I can just put on and just laugh. <laughs> you know, over nonsensical things. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is the uh, the remake. Um, and I've got I, I bought this when it first came out, and I haven't upgraded yet. I need to upgrade. Tom Holland's Twisted Tales. Not that Tom Holland. Um, this is interesting. Uh, this is a um a DVD. That I just decided to put it in a case. It's a bonus disc for a Disturbed. Uh, music album and uh, this DVD it's it's reflective it has a reflective thing there but it does have like uh, the uh, the music video uh, prayer I believe and it has some like uh, studio stuff involved I just decided to put it in in a case and pop it on my shelf I really like disturb <laughs> uh, Transformers the uh, the first season here now this one was really cool. I never, I ended up uh, not even getting the other ones. I really should have. I was kind of holding out to to get that whole set, and I just, I never got that either. I should. Uh, I believe it's out of print now. I'm sure, but um, yeah. So this looks, it looks really cool. It has this really embossed, you know, uh, case here, and it folds out. It's one of these fold out deals. Let's see if we can see it here. Ooh, fold out more. Oh shit. I mean. <laughs> so yeah it folds out like that and it does contain let me see if I can pull these out real quick it does have this cool little envelope here on the side um, with some little animation cells let's see if we can get these open without messing them up okay the animation cells really cool Really nice looking. I love stuff like this. Um, back in the 90s, um, I remember comics, when uh, Spider-Man the Animated Series was first coming out, they released a, a, a set of like Spider-Man comics that came with uh, animation cells from the upcoming Spider-Man cartoon that they were doing. And I had a couple of them, and I think I, I they probably got lost in the shuffle over the years. I might have one still. Uh, but I always loved it whenever... like. Uh, you know, uh, either books or, or whatever, you know, DVDs, uh, release animation cells. Those, those are really interesting to me. 
Friday Night Lights, the complete first season. Love this show. Man, I, it, I'm not even a sports guy, to be honest, says the guy with the Astros hat. Uh, I'm not even a, a, like a big-time sports guy, especially football. I'm not really a, a fan of football. But I popped that in. I watched it. I watched like the first couple of episodes. I was completely hooked. I loved it so much. Superman the movie. This is the four-disc uh, special edition. Chevelle. Live from what? Norma. I'm a big music dude too, so I have a lot of uh, music stuff. Scream, the TV series. Surprisingly really good. I, I went into it with little to no expectations at all. Um, and uh, I actually really enjoyed it. Nothing like no, nothing like the movie, so don't go in uh, expecting that. The first Hunger Games. I am Legend. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Accident. A Royal Affair. Deadfall. This is a really good movie. A really good thriller as well. One Night with the King. Sounds like an adult movie. <laughs> Panic in the Streets. The Punisher. The original Punisher. Dolph Lundgren. The Bible. Um, really, really well done. I will say that. Um, e even if you're not a religious person, uh, you know, at, at the time when I saw it, it was, I just kind of watched it just to watch it. You know, I wasn't expecting anything, you know, glorious just because I've seen the story of the Bible many, many times. I've heard the story of the Bible many, many times. Um, I feel like this one was really well done. And I think people that aren't uh, too close to religion will even enjoy this. I, I really, I truly, truly think so. So I definitely, definitely, uh, you know, recommend checking that out. Wuchi, the Demon Slayer. This one was really interesting, too. Celeste and Jesse Forever. Um, this movie was uh, one of those that really took me aback. You know, you have uh, Rashida Jones and Andy Samberg, both uh, fantastic actors in their own right, but they do comedy very well. And I, I knew Rashida Jones. I've known Rashida Jones for a very long time. Not, not personally. <laughs> but, you know, through films and stuff like that, I know of her. Um, but... I it was I think this was around the time that I first started watching Parks and Rec I believe maybe before that but um I always known her to be like in more comedic roles um so I was expecting a straight up comedy which it's really really funny but it has uh this this other side of it that's just completely filled with heartbreak and and despair and just if you've been in any sort of relationship and you watch this movie, you will understand what I'm talking about. It's it's very deep. It really is a deep movie. And I loved it so much. Still one of my favorites out there. Yeah, it really, you know, it really showed a different side of Andy Samberg, which I honestly do not, uh, w wouldn't have expected saying something like that. Crush. Senseless. It's, it, yeah, <laughs> it's senseless, but it's it's a fun movie. Kiss of the Dam. Get him to the Greek. I love this movie, just for uh, just for P Diddy, in it. <laughs> what's the what's the chant that he said? It's Biggest Loser Time. It's Biggest Loser Time. It's Daddy's favorite show. It's Daddy's favorite show. <laughs> Pompeii. Right. Pacific Rim 3D. I love this movie. I really do. It's so fun. It's like Power Rangers and Godzilla blended into one one film. Super awesome. Really, uh, I'm still really excited for the second one as well. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 and 3D. Lenticular Slip. Private Number. This is an interesting movie. Um, it wasn't bad. It's not the best uh, like thriller I would consider it a thriller, not really a horror movie, but it's um, interesting though. The Punisher. This is the the newer Punisher with Thomas Jane. Does have this really interesting uh, slipcover on it. 
You can see there. Supernatural, the complete tenth season. Again, Supernatural is a really fun show too. Reminds me so much. Of, I think that's why I liked it so much. I I, I kind of grown attached to it really quickly. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Re Return of the Living Dead. Uh, Necropolis. This is around the time they, they started. After part three, uh, it went silent for a long time as far as Return of the Living Dead movies. And then they came back with part four and five. It was like they were like filmed back to back or something like that. And they kind of connected to each other in a certain to a certain extent. Uh, they weren't really that great. But they're zombie movies, so I watch them. <laughs> 28 Days Later. Don't need to say more. Wings, Sky Force Heroes. My son liked it. <laughs> Stephen Lynch, Live at the El Rey. Stephen Lynch is... Um, I don't know if you guys know of Stephen Lynch. He's a... Uh, comedy... Singer? <laughs> comedy musician? Uh, but he's one of the funniest people that I... That, I have ever heard um, one of my favorite comedians of all time. Uh, he's been on Broadway. He did he did a, a Broadway version of The Wedding Singer, I believe, and uh, still one of my favorites. Love him so much. I've seen him. I've seen him once, and hysterical. The Siege, Half Baked. I used to quote this movie so much. It's, it's so super quotable. The Goonies. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I did not realize that I had The Goonies on DVD. <laughs> it's been that long. <coughs> Heartbreakers. Uh, this was around the time I had a really big crush on Jennifer Love Hewitt back when I was younger. I mean, who... What what, what young guy didn't back in that day? Um, this is, And I'm looking at it now. It's a very weirdly photoshopped cover. <laughs> Knocked Up, Gotham, the complete first season, fantastic show, I love it, Hostel Part 2, Outpost, Rise of the Spets Nuts, uh, Nazi Zombies, yo, <laughs> Night Watch, Smurfs 2 in 3D. It has this uh, lenticular cover. Box Trolls has this lenticular cover as well. This is a 3D version. Heart of Dixie. My wife loves this show. I love. Uh, she she really liked it a lot. So um, I made her watch it and review it. Sean the Sheep, season two. Star Wars Droid Tales. My son loves this. Let's hope none of these fall over here and you don't hear like a big crash. Um, Free Fire. Really, really fun movie. Uh, think uh, Smoke and Aces. But that's like the entire... The, the, the final... Uh, the, the finale scene in Smoke and Aces where they had the gunfight. Just picture that, but for a whole movie. <laughs> American Beauty, Kick-Ass 2, Two Guns, Hard Target 2, which is, they should have stopped at Hard Target 1, because I really liked Hard Target 1, Satanic, The One Below, Moonlight, Fantastic movie. Um, I really, really enjoyed it so much. Um, just prepare yourself. That's all I have to say. La La Land. Love La La Land so much. I, I've, I've you know, said it before and I'll say it again. It's one of my favorite musicals of all time. Um, this is the Walmart exclusive cover. Uh, it is. And they actually do have the same cover art as the... As a slipcover, which is very rare sometimes. La La Land. This is the Target exclusive cover. Which, let's see if they have the same. Yep. Same cover there. Which, again, you know, you don't get that too often. 
I, I hate it whenever they they do this just the same standard you know uh cover art underneath i feel like i got gypped you know wolf cop because why not <laughs> knock knock the sun that dreaded sundown this is a really good one um the killer in it obviously reminds me a lot of uh, the sackhead Jason from the remake, uh, Friday the 13th. Batman and Harley Quinn. This is the gift set. Uh, I believe this is the uh, the Best Buy exclusive. This one comes with a graphic novel inside. And then another Batman and Harley Quinn. Uh, does have the you know the figure just like the other one. Uh, no, no graphic novel. Uh, it does come with a Blu-ray as well. And that's it. And Vestron Video Collector Series, The Unholy. Creep Show Two, one of my favorite horror anthologies of all time. The Amityville Horror. I really like this remake. Um, I was, a, I'm a big fan of the uh, the original Amityville Horror, but um, I thought Ryan Reynolds killed it in. Pun intended, I guess. <laughs> he killed it in uh, in this remake. I really enjoyed it. I don't really enjoy a whole lot of remakes, but that one was really good. Devil's Rejects. Fantastic sequel to uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. Halloween 2. This is the Rob Zombie one. Um, Rob Zombie, I felt like he just kind of... He, he reached a little too far uh, with these Halloween movies. I still enjoy them. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like he tried to... Um, be a little too artistic in his vision for for uh, for the movies, but really good. Quarantine, love this a lot. Drag me to hell. This one's really fun. Eric, anytime I get a chance to, I will watch this movie, no doubt. Ludwig, I just like saying Ludwig. <laughs> the Falling, which I I hope. None of this stuff starts falling. <laughs> Meadowland. Uh, this was a really, really good movie. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, starring Olivia Wilde and Luke Wilson. Um, very heart-wrenching. I will say that. And it... It's... Um, th there's a lot of... It, this is a, a true... I guess... Representation or example... Of character development. And how characters go from one... From from point A to point B, and from one you know one side to another, um, really well done. Life, Ascension, Dallas, the complete second season. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. You know, I um, I remember my mom used to watch Dallas a lot as a, uh, whenever I was a kid, um, so I always knew it, you know when it was on and things like that, but. Um, I actually really enjoyed this revival of it and it's uh unfortunate that you know uh the the main guy what's his name uh ha larry hagman uh, passed away because i thought he uh he was a fantastic jr and he continued you know that character really 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 well here how the west was won don't know why i have that map to the stars weird movie Two Bro Girls, a complete third season. Wahlburgers, because it's a Transformer. I don't know. The Angriest Man in Brooklyn. Uh, this was one of, uh, I, I believe this movie came out a little bit after uh, Robin Williams passed away. And uh, it, it was very eerie how close to... Um, the story that came out regarding why he he committed suicide, you know, it was, it was very weirdly close to it. So it was um, it, it's kind of odd watching this movie. I I do highly suggest watching it because it it really is a good movie. But uh, you'll see some parallels that are like, whoa, okay, you know, it's this. I don't know, but it, it really good movie. The ABCs of Death, the first one. Um, fantastic, fantastic horror anthology. Uh, you know, uh, there's horror shorts for every uh, letter of the alphabet. 
Some are good, some are bad. I'd say more, more good than bad, but definitely one to watch. VHS Viral. This is the third entry in the VHS uh, Horror Anthology series. Love VHS. Love Horror Anthologies, like I've stated. Uh, but yeah, th this one kind of missed the mark a little bit, uh, I will admit. But it's still really enjoyable to watch. VHS 2. This one was really good. I really like this one a lot as well. Um, have some, they have some really, really good ones in there. Um, and I, I highly suggest checking it out. And then VHS, the one that started it all. Um, this one was, uh, when it came out, horror anthologies weren't like really a big thing. They hadn't been for many, many years. Um, uh, and this really brought some steam back to it, you know? And I, I love these guys for, for making this, uh, for making this anthology and I will forever watch it and recommend it to many, many people. Terminator anthology. Uh, this con does contain uh, Terminator 1, 2, 3, and Salvation 4. And it does fold out like this. Really, really cool. Oh, another one. All right. Yeah, I enjoy the Terminator movies. Even, uh, dare I say, even part three. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, they have, uh, they, they've missed the mark. I feel like what, what two kind of, you know, kind of set for the future uh, two really was like one that nobody could beat. You know, it set the precedent for uh, for the Terminator movies, and nobody has hit the mark yet. I'm hoping with this next one that they're doing, um, I'm hoping that it, it continues something great, especially if James Cameron is involved. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the uh, complete the complete set here. It does have uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one, two, three, and TMNT the the uh, the CG the CG movie. Just gonna pop this open here. It does come in this really cool pizza box looking container. It does have uh... okay. Let's open this up. All right. It does have this is like the insert or whatever that uh, that I kept around. So these really cool like art cards here. There's a sketch card. Really cool art cards included. We'll go through it really quickly. Casey Jones, one of my favorite characters. Shred Master. Shred us? <laughs> I love it. Um, my son still uh he loves part two. Uh and who doesn't? You know, part two was it was a favorite of mine. Uh even though we, we all know that Toka and Razar we're supposed to be uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. Um, and it does uh, contain this reprint of the first comic as well. And then the inside. But uh, but yeah, so my son, uh, he loves part two. And he will, he forever uh, he re recites the lines uh, that Toka had uh, repeated to, to Shredder. Whereas he goes, um, he's... Ma? Mama? <laughs> no, they're babies. <laughs> he repeats that line. It makes me laugh every time. Sinister 2. American Horror Story Asylum. This one was the... the, the oh, man. I love the start of this, uh, of this uh, season. It started really, really strong. And then it ended very, very weird. But I still like American Horror Story. Underworld Blood Wars. The Bye Bye Man. Bye Bye Man. World War Z in 3D. Dark Water. Love this. Love this movie. Holliston. This is a fantastic uh, like horror sitcom uh, from uh, Adam Green and Joe Lynch. Fantastic directors. Fantastic show. Love it. It's really, really fun. The Purge Anarchy. Phineas and Ferb, Mission Marvel. This was uh, around the time, uh, a, a good while after, but this was the first thing that I remember coming out after Marvel got bought by Disney. Um, that really kind of solidified, like, they're, 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 mixing, they're mixing up, you know, within each other. Um, so, yeah, it's really fun. My son really likes it. Dodgeball. 
the 40 year old virgin regular show the best dvd in the world at this time at this moment in time <laughs> it says panic room schindler's list fantastic movie um if you have not seen it uh, it, it's, it is hard to watch. I will, I will admit that. But it's a very, very good movie. Uh, fantastically done. Um, and I remember we, uh, I had, we had bought this movie years and years ago. And uh, it was the exact same one, too. And for some reason, after, I don't know, it was probably a couple of years, I was like, you know what, I'm going to pop it in again. I've, it's been a while. And um, we popped it, or we opened it up, and there was no disc in it. <laughs> so we had to go, uh, go out and rebuy it. But yeah. And this was before, you know, they had, uh, when DVDs had the side A and side B for the full frame and, and widescreen editions, that I don't miss at all. I hated it. I hated it so much just because each side could literally uh, get scratched. So I, I'm glad that they did away with that. Clockwork Orange. Love this movie. Derailed. Mall rats, which this was like my Bible <laughs> when I was a when I was a young teenager. Um, love this movie. Clerks X. This is the 10th anniversary uh, edition. This movie um, really opened the door for a lot of things for me uh, when I was growing up. I've told the story before, and I'll, I'll just tell it really quickly. Um, I was very young. I was maybe like in fifth grade, I believe, when this movie first came out, and um, I had a, um, a, a, I guess a joint account at Blockbuster. My mom would, uh, you know, kind of had me on the account, and I was able to go rent movies on my own by myself because I love. She knew I loved movies so much, and I wanted to see every single movie that I could. Um, so she had she added me to the joint account so that way she didn't have to go with me every time to go blo to go rent out movies. Uh, so all I had to do is say like a password or something like that. And they let me rent whatever I wanted, which is very odd. <laughs> and, uh, I came across clerks, a movie called clerks, um, rented it. They gave me no, no beef. Like, you know, in, in renting this movie, um, there was no restrictions or nothing like that. I rented it, watched it. And I was like, holy crap. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Took it to school. Um, this is a rented video, mind you. I let a couple people watch it, and I almost... Oh, my mom used to work at a school. Um, and um, so I remember staying after school waiting for her, and there was a couple of people, uh, a couple of my friends, that uh, wanted to watch it. And I was like, okay, well, I have access to the AV room, so let's go and check it out. And it was... One <laughs> for me, being in fifth grade, one of the dirtiest movies I've ever seen. Uh, but it was so hilarious, and I loved it so much. And it really opened the door for Kevin Smith uh, to me, which I, who I still love and admire to this day. Uh, he's a fantastic dude, fantastic director. It does have all this opened up stuff. This is the 10th anniversary edition. Um, I'll never get rid of this one, and I, I think I've, I think I have it rebought on, on Blu-ray. But this is one I'll never get rid of. Really cool. Clerks Two, fantastic. Dogma, love this movie. Kingpin, love this movie. Hitch, not so much. <laughs> My best friend's wedding. Ooh, and it's loose in there. I think it's broken, too. The thing, yeah, the little clip is broken. I hate it when that happens. All right. Gremlins, special edition. Single Moms Club. Deadbeat. This is actually a really fun show. Austin Land. Reservoir Dogs. Fantastic, fantastic movie. Brooklyn Nine-Nine Season 1. I, I really do like the show. I haven't kept up with it, but it's a really, really funny show. I, I highly recommend checking that one out. Blue Jasmine. X-Men 2. X, X, X2, X-Men United, sorry. Shooter. Big Little Lies. 
fantastic, fantastic show. Riverdale, the complete first season. I was very surprised at how much I enjoyed this show. Um, I don't really see those CW, uh, like teen dramas aren't my thing, but that one was really good. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cowabunga Classics is a couple of, was a top 10 fan favorite episodes. That's really cool. The Ring. Freddy vs. Jason. This is, I, I still watch it. It's so fun. It's, a, it's just a fun movie. Jason Goes to Hell. Saw 4. Shiver. This one was, this one was weird. George A. Romero's Diary of the Dead. Not the best in his, uh, in his collection of, uh, in his filmography, uh, collection of zombie movies, but, um, uh, I had to get it. it it's, it's still a George Romero movie. Um, I haven't gotten the other one though. Uh, I cannot remember what it's called though. It was right after this and he had one more, I think, and it does come with this, the Zen of Zombie book paperback book inside this was a best buy exclusive killer clowns from outer space who doesn't love killer clowns the evil dead fantastic movie from beyond twilight zone the complete third season helix season one i believe this show got canceled story of my life right but um, <laughs> it was uh, I really liked it. I, it reminded me a lot of the thing, where people were getting infected by this uh, by this parasite, by this virus, and things like that. Really fun. Housekeeping. The Infiltrator. Brian Cranston is awesome. Paradise. Carrie. This is the remake. This has this really cool particular slip cover here. A single shot. This was a really good thriller. Um, I really enjoyed this one a lot. The Shining. This is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for Suicide Squad. The Mechanic. Uh, Resurrection on 4K. The Shallows on 4K Ultra HD. It has this really weird lenticular slipcover that doesn't really work very very well it's okay but it's not the best fantastic beasts and where to find them 4k 4k uh edition of warcraft wonder woman 3d children of the night cooties which is really fun the gangster to the Wonder. Um, this is a really, really good movie. Um, if you guys have a chance, definitely check this out. Very artistic, uh, very artistic. You know, you know, indie movie. It's a Terrence Malick movie. So, knowing that, you already know what to expect. But um, really, really good. Heart wrenching, heartbreaking, but uh, really well done. Nobody walks. Um, this is one that I think uh, people should watch. It's it, it's not relevant to anything but it is a really well done movie a movie that i think maybe deserves a little bit more praise a little bit more notoriety um it flew under the radar i'm not i'm not sure if anybody has even watched it that is watching this video but um magnolia pictures or magnolia home entertainment usually puts out these these awesome movies from time to time and i um i'm a i'm a big advocate of them uh because they they put out movies that you know, you don't really see it at your, at your local cinema. Um, and they're very well done. This one is one of those dealing with infidelity and uh, relationships and things like that. So it, it, it might hit, you know, some people kind of hard. But um, it's a very well done movie. And I wouldn't have um, thought of John Krasinski to be in a film like this. So really good, though. Sons of Anarchy Season 5. Slightly single in L.A. Disconnect, really good movie. Room, love this movie. Uh, not The Room, 
but room. Um, this is one of those movies. After watching it, I just I sat back in my chair and I was like, "Wow!" Like it was amazing. Uh, the performances were amazing. Love that movie. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part Two. The Hateful Eight. Pretty good movie. Steve Jobs, The Man in the Machine. Eddie the Eagle. Um, <laughs> this is a fantastic movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend going to go watch it. It's an amazing, inspiring story. Um, and uh, I think everybody should really, really watch this, watch this film if you have not already. Fantastic. I loved it. The Neon Demon. Laid in America. Sorry, there's two YouTubers, uh, KSI and Casper Lee. Dumb and Dumber 2. Not as great as the original, but it's still pretty funny. My Old Lady. My wife would kill me if I called her that. <laughs> Birdman. A uh, fantastic movie. Um, very uh, impressive the way it was shot. You know, a lot of uh, the scenes being one continuous shot and edited... And the scenes that weren't continuous were edited so seamlessly to where it didn't even seem like, you know, it was uh, it was edited at all. So, really well done. Shadow Dancer. Music of the Heart. Trance. Inglorious Bastards. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Shrek the Musical, which is very interesting. Look, I'll just show you the back here. I, I wondered how they were going to pull off, like, a musical theater version of Shrek. They pulled it off very very well. It's really good. The Heat. Hammer of the Gods. There's a cool flip over here. Echoes. Friday the 13th Part 3 in 3D. This is uh, around the time when, you know, 3D was uh, kind of, they were still not, they, they hadn't perfected it yet. So this is the old traditional 3D with the actual 3D glasses included. Scream, the five film set. I really should take the sticker off. Usually th this bothers the hell. I'm, I'm OCD about stickers, like price tag stickers. On my Blu-rays, I really should take it off. Uh, it does have Scream 1, 2, 3, um, and then uh, two, pretty much two documentaries uh, in, included. And really, really good. Saw 5. Patriot's Day in 4K. Wonder Woman, 4K uh, Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook. Starship Troopers, uh, 4K, uh, 4K Steelbook, awesome, love this movie. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, 4K. Inferno, in 4K. Kevin Hart, Let Me Explain. Drug War. Arrival, in 4K. Love this movie. Allied in 4K. Harley and the Davidsons. Quarry, the complete first season. I didn't keep up with the show. I really should have. Um, I still have it. I, I, I need to go back and watch uh, the, the seasons after it. I don't know if it's gotten canceled or not. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. But... Um, I gave this show a chance, and I really, really liked it. Um, I, it sucks that I, I can't keep up with everything. It's hard to keep up with everything. I try to, but it's really, really hard. Uh, Black Society Trilogy. Godzilla vs. Biollante. Mojave. Exposed. Precious Cargo. A Medea Christmas, the movie. Um, I, I'm not a fan of, of Tyler Perry movies, really. Not really. 
But I will say that I do respect the man immensely. Um, I remember I used to do concert security back in the day, back when I was younger. Um, and uh, I did security for a show that he had uh, one time. It was a, a live, you know, it was a play, a live performance for uh, I Can I can Do Bad All By Myself. Um, and I didn't know who, I didn't, I had, I had never heard of Tyler Perry in my life. This was back before he was doing movies. And uh, he was Medea on stage. And I was like, is that a, is that a man? Like, is it, that's a, that's a big lady. If that's a lady. <laughs> um, and after the show, I was in charge of his meet and greet. Right. So people were coming up and, and saying hi to, to Tyler Perry. And he looks over at me after a while, after everything started calming down. He's like, Hey man, uh, how are you? I'm like, Oh, I'm good, sir. I was trying to be very polite, very cordial. Uh, and he goes, uh, how old are you, man? And I think I was like 17 at the time, I believe. Um, and I was like, uh, 17? He's like, um, he's like, okay, here, I'm going to give you this bag. And at that time, I was like, okay, I'm not, I don't want to take no bag from anybody. Um, <laughs> especially just a random bag. I don't know this guy. Um, he gave me a bag and it had a lot of condoms in it. <laughs> and, okay, I will backtrack a little bit. The, the 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 whole premise of that play is uh is a it's kind of it's a it's about AIDS and, and preventing AIDS and things like that. So he was he was trying to do a, a service and give a young guy you know uh, a a bag of condoms so that way he'd be safe. <laughs> but th that's my Tyler Perry story. <laughs> uh, awkward. Reclaim is the next one. <laughs> Homeland, the complete second season. The Lego Batman movie. This is the bat, uh, the Best Buy exclusive uh, steel book. Batman and Harley Quinn. This is the Target exclusive steel book. Doctor Strange, Best Buy exclusive steel book. Green Lantern steel book. Teen Titans, the Judas Contract, Target exclusive steelbook. And Deadpool, Best Buy exclusive steelbook. They're re-releasing this one in 4K uh, this year. Uh, I believe it should be out in stores already. Uh, so I definitely suggest jumping on that as soon as you can. The Green Inferno, which is a really, <laughs> it was a wow movie. <laughs> Slugs. Suicide Squad. This is standard Blu-ray. Logan. This is a Walmart exclusive. It does have these uh, collector cards inside as well. 4K. Uh, 4K Blu-ray 3D and Blu-ray copy of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Dominion Season 1. Um, if you guys are a fan of, oh my God, what's the, what's the name of that movie? I can't, I can't think of it. Uh, Angels, uh, in the middle of a desert diner, they're going at a diner, they're attacking, uh, all the people inside. Anyway, I, I love the movie. I can't, for the life of me, I can't think of the name. Um, but anyway, this is like a sequel to that movie. Um, and this is kind of like, uh, telling the story about the angels now being, you know, there, hanging out. Fear Clinic. Alien Anthology. Let's have Aliens, Aliens, uh, Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection. Lost After Dark. Friday the 13th, The Killer Cut. Phantasm Remastered. Love that movie. Madhouse, The Boy, Wonder Woman, 4K Ultra HD, Tracers, starring Taylor Lautner, Mordecai, The Initiation, Kill Your Friends, which is basically, um, this movie's basically American Psycho, 
but just uh, with the record industry involved. The Machine. The Drownsman. <laughs> that movie's very weird. Honey 3, Dare to Dance. <laughs> the, the Brass Teapot, really good movie. Movie 43, very weird movie. Richard Pryor, Omit the Logic. Return to Newcom High, Volume 1. Still waiting for Volume 2. I, I see, And I love it whenever they do cases like this that are not the standard, you know, blue case. Uh, that, that, that gets me all excited and stuff. 1408. Fright Night 2. Walker, Texas Ranger, flashback. Walker, Texas Ranger was a staple in my household. Um, mainly because my mom was a huge Chuck Norris fan uh, when I was uh, when I was younger. Um, so anything Chuck Norris, she watched, and it was always on. One of my favorite movies as a kid growing up was Sidekicks, um, partially for the reason that it did have Chuck Norris. I was a I was I became a Chuck Norris fan, um, and also because it was filmed in my city of Houston. Or well, I think parts of it anyway. Kings of Summer. Fantastic movie. Love this movie so much. Um, definitely go out and watch it. If you uh, if you remember growing up and just acting a fool, you know, just being curious and and being be, being out there with your friends, like in the middle of the woods kind of thing, or in the, you know, being on adventures with your friends, uh, this is definitely one to watch. Loved it so much. Redemption. Sorry, Jason Statham. The East, Wingman, weird movie, Blindsided, this is an interesting one, I liked it, Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton's always good, After Earth, I feel like if the script was a little stronger, this could have been a really, really good movie, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, one of my favorites. Batman the Killing Joke. This is uh, the Best Buy exclusive. It does come just like the other one with this uh, graphic novel in there. Put that there. <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street. This is the remake. Um, really wish it would have been better. Because, uh, I mean, it was, it's not terrible. Uh, I don't want to dog and say it was terrible uh, i really wish it was better though better in the sense where it would have spawned more sequels you know i really i love freddy krueger freddy krueger is one of my favorites sex tape it's not what you think <laughs> ritual this is a tales from the crypt presents movie crank 2 fun fun nonsensical action fast-paced movies um uh, I love them. The first crank, awesome. Second crank got a little silly. I'm not going to lie. But the first one is fantastic. That awkward moment. We've all had them. Django Unchained. I was very... Uh, I always wondered why it came in this overly sized... Uh, oversized case... Which, again, it sits weird on my shelf. I don't care, though. But I just thought it was very, very odd. Okay. I don't know. If you can see the code, you take it if you want. I don't know. I doubt it even works. It's Django Unchained. Compliance. Fantastic, fantastic movie. I highly suggest checking this one out. Again, this is another one from Magnolia Home Entertainment that, um, that flies under the radar. Uh, not a lot of people has, uh, have have seen it probably, but really good movie, real nail biting, edge of your seat type of movie, and it only takes place in one location, so that's how you know they had to get creative. The Good Doctor, Ouija, 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 is it Ouija? I don't know. 
as above, so below. Trippy, trippy movie. John dies at the end. Fantastic movie. I, I still like watching this movie. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy and insane. Um, but it's so good. Dario Argento's The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Fantastic movie. I know what you did last summer. But do you really? Life After Beth. <laughs> this is a, a fun take on the, on the zombie genre. Crimson Peak. Good Night, Mommy. Jezebel. Or Jezebel. Evil Dead 2. Love Evil Dead. Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders. Uh, this one does come with... This is a Best Buy exclusive. does come with a graphic novel as well in there. The Eyes of My Mother. And the Lord of the Rings uh, complete collection here. We have all of them stashed inside. These, these are the extended edition ones, which I love them so much. I love the Lord of the Rings. Ask me how many times I've watched them, <laughs> these extended editions since I've got them. Um, not many. I've watched them all. Uh, a, a couple of times, but not, uh, not like, you know, not like a handful or, or, or 10 times or nothing like that. It was just a few times, but they're really good. It's just, it's a lot of time to invest into, you know, a set of movies. Um, all right. And with that said, we're going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, look, be on the lookout for part five, I guess, <laughs> of my complete 4k Blu-ray DVD collection. Uh, that'll be coming soon as well. Go ahead and hit that like button if you guys dug this video at all. If you like any of these titles, if these spark a memory or anything like that to you, uh, give that uh, that like button a hit. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because, of course, I'm going to be coming back with more videos, right? I mean, part five is coming. Um, and be on the lookout for some more, uh, some more unboxing videos very, very soon. And with all that being said, we will catch you next time.